This is a series of videos for understanding ISO and its implementation at organization. To start with, we should first understand what is information security and also the need of information security management system at organizations. Information is the most essential part of an organization. It may be considered as a resource, a commodity, perception of pattern, or a constitutive force in society. As defined by BS ISO 27002-2005, information is an asset which, like other important business assets, has value to an organization and consequently needs to be suitably protected. What is information security? The protection of information and its critical elements, including the systems and hardware that use, store and transmit that information. Information security is basically a set of business processes that protects various information assets of the organization. It includes tools such as policy, awareness, training, education and technology. Information security as defined by 27002-2005 is the preservation of CIA. CIA is a model designed to guide policies for information security within an organization. C. Confidentiality I. Integrity A. Availability Confidentiality ensures that information is accessible only to those who are authorized to have an access. Integrity safeguards the accuracy and completeness of information and processing methods. Availability then ensures that authorized users have access to information and associated assets when required. Information security management system is the most essential part for an organization once we have understood what is the importance of information security. Information security management system is a systematic and structured approach to managing information so that it remains secured. ISMS implementation includes implementation of policies, processes, procedures, organizational structures, and software and hardware functions. So, what is the need of ISMS at an organization? First, is the increasing threats such as fraud, espionage, sabotage and other disasters such as fire and flood. The other reason is the need of holistic perspective to implement information security at an organization. Third, being systematic approach. ISMS standards include two international standards. First, ISO 27001-2005 and second, ISO 27002-2005. The first international standard, that is ISO 27001-2005, follows a PDCA model. PDCA stands for Plan, Do, Check and Act. In plan phase, the ISMS is established. Then we have the implementation and operation of ISMS in a do phase. In check phase, we monitor and review ISMS. In act phase, the maintenance and improvement of ISMS is done. This forms a complete PDCA cycle which implements ISO 27001-2005. Second standard is ISO 27002-2005. It covers various security areas. To list down, we have security policy, organizing information security, human resource security, access control, information security incident management, business continuity management, and compliance to name a few. 
So these are the references which were referred for making this presentation. For more details, you can log on to our website. Thank you.